Hey everybody, it's a great day here at the old Vinyl Village Garage. Project Lee Bronze is out here in the driveway because, well, blue skies and sunshine, I like being outside. The garage is cool, kind of sticks with the theme of anything automotive in the two-car garage, but eh, whatever, let's be realistic, outside's a whole lot more funner. Um, what you see behind me is the seats all cleaned up. These original seats are in the car. They were pretty nasty, moldy, and disgusting. Got brand new carpet uh, because the old carpet was awful, um, bad. And you see here the seat belts. I pressure wash those seat belts. They look a whole lot better and they're presentable. They actually turn back to black instead of white, brown, whatever was growing on was quite gross. But they actually look really good. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm missing the driver's side front seat belt. I would love to find a driver's side front seat belt. Checked on eBay, checked on a few locations. So if any of you fans or anyone out there has a seat belt, black in color particularly, and then this style of uh, buckle. And if you want to part ways with a lot of the front seat belts and buckle, I'd love to have one. So you make me a deal or, you know, send me a message. I'd appreciate it if you're willing to part ways with one. But the goal here today, get this interior back in that car. Got the power top working real good the last couple episodes. And man, I'm glad that works. Now it's a big obstacle, but uh, a little fun. Had some fun challenges there. Got a power top pump working basically for nothing. Just took it apart and cleaned it. Motor worked great, but you know, as you see the video, eh, the pump just wouldn't build pressure. Anyway, besides all that, that was last video. This time around, I'm gonna put the interior in. I'm gonna drag you along this journey, putting the seat belts inside, how to cut a carpet, get it fitted, and hopefully get this thing looking real nice, and go put some miles on it. Let's go check it out. I guess you'll say one last look at Project Lebron's all well, without an interior in it. Did tuck up the lines all nice and tidy. I used some zippy ties because I didn't have these fancy clips for all the positions because well, someone ripped out the passenger side years ago and left them out. Remounted the pump. Got the system working great. Love it. But floor pans all in. Body plugs are secure. Um, I debated putting a sound dead and I've used lizard skin on the past builds but I decided not to do it on this car, just in case whoever buys it wants to see what kind of work it was, show that you know, nothing's hidden. It's all good metal, nice solid rocker panels, good solid quality construction again. So you definitely put some miles on this car, have some confidence. You're not gonna fall through the floor when driving it. So, um, but the next step is put the carpet in. Do the rear section first, get it fitted around the seat uh, mounts here. And then I, what I like to do is go ahead and start all the bolts. There's a seat belt bolt, a seat mounting bolt, seat belt, seat belt. The idea with that is, is when I put the carpet in, I'm gonna put the hole in. I can feel that bolt, a couple little cuts of the razor blade, and then you're ready to go. Uh, but I said the rear section goes in first, then the front section goes in. So let's get started back here. Laying the carpet in, or of course you see the orientation. It doesn't really go underneath the back seat. Now we'll have to cut around where the seat mount is here in the front. Now the only areas you really have to be concerned with from cutting the carpet edge right off is where it meets up here. You don't want to cut this too short because then you'll be seeing all this garbage. You want the carpet to kind of lay right at the bottom of the cover here, or the, uh, the what you call this little leftover scrap of vinyl they tuck on these cars. Just kind of covers up the metal, but. The end result, you have a small little strip here that's exposed. The inside panel kind of comes over here some, but there's a little section that's exposed. So cutting this area here is kind of critical. So you want to make sure you get this all pushed down tight. And maybe cut this lash, leave a little extra. Because as with anything, you know, measure twice, cut once. Once you cut it, it's cut, you know. So leave yourself a little extra slack. Then maybe trim it back slowly. But the areas you know you don't need, like this corner, you can probably trim it back some too. Now I've made the, the mistake here when trimming around this, cutting it down too low. By the time you push the carpet down, well, you see the big old gap right here. So same thing, yeah, cut just a little bit at a time until you get everything seated. But this is a molded carpet, OER brand. Comes in a box about that big around, I think, and they roll it up super tight. I've let this thing sit out for a few days and it still isn't laying out or really taking its shape. So i um, not sure if there's any better carpets or better brands, but. I would suggest leaving the carpet out maybe in the sun or sit it out for a few days for trying to install it. So hopefully get its shape back because it wants to keep curling back up on me here. But as with anything, maybe start here in the center, cut around. There's a bolt right here for the seat belt. A little notch there and then keep working this thing down and working this way. Keep tucking it in. And then 
cut the door jam last because you're going to be over too far on that but same thing you don't want to cut it too short because well you don't want the hanging out underneath the sill plate so i'm gonna start here get everything lined up cut around that bolt cut around that bolt inside the transmission tunnel and push this thing down into place and kind of work my way here i got some seat oh there's a seat bolt here do a little x on that same thing and get that thing dropped down Now the thing about that bolt head, it works real nice to cut across. Now of course if they're nice bolts you want to scratch up, probably shouldn't do that, but I don't have new bolts. These actually look pretty good. And now I've got that actually tucked down tied around that bolt. I'm gonna go over to this side, do about the same thing. notched around the seat bracket seat bolt seat belt etc all the holes are here i even did the two here for the center console so i'm gonna put that in i can actually find that little thread cert underneath here so they're both done then too so there's the one there's the other one that'll help put that center console in now when it comes to the front ones well i'm not real particular because the other piece of carpet actually comes right across here so i get myself a little wiggle room but i've got everything tucked up tight to the tunnel so it should pull down tight Next step is go ahead and mount the seat belts in the car so I can put the uh, seat back in and the seat base. And then I'll work my way forward and put the front seats in. Now, you can see from the distance, I was hacking away around the shifter. My distance forward and back is okay. But you want to get cut around the shifter to get the thing to start sliding over the transmission tunnel, the carpet, kind of like this is still our center point. I work our way out. Now, this is where the center console, the front ears poke through. I don't know if you can see it in the video. I figured I made to get you up a little closer, but I had the carpet laying on top. I could feel this through the carpet, but I cut it almost an inch, inch and a quarter in this way on purpose, knowing when it pops through, it's going to slide this way. I didn't cut it right directly on top of it because it goes over the transmission tunnel. Well, I want this to pull down tight and pull up tight. So I actually kind of stretched the carpet, or if you can see that in the video, but I wanted to get that in there for you. Cut that maybe about an inch, inch and a quarter. I think it's going to work pretty good. So I guess follow along, make sure that works out for as a good tip. But uh, I've always cut that always kind of wrong. And I noticed that I kind of get a, a spot in the carpet, sometimes pokes under the center console. So I'm going to try a little different this time. And so about an inch, inch and a quarter in, I made my slice and I push that thing over it. Now, as I work the carpet down, I think it's going to work out pretty good. Yeah, I got the height right. It's all tucked up. I've got to get that plastic toe panel unbolted. The carpet goes over top of that. Um, and then the passenger side looks real good, but I'm not going to trim the door jam yet. I'm going to go ahead and get the seats bolted in. It'd be pretty nice to have some seats back in this car that's sitting on the floor next time I had to go around the block. So I'm sure the brakes will work a whole lot more good or two. So I get you up to speed here. Driver seat all bolts in. Well, yeah, put the old center console in. It looks really good now. Shifts are working real nice. Armrest looks pretty good. Back seat pretty self-explanatory. Slides in. Two bolts. 
through all the seat belts back there in the back and the seat base pops in that's that's pretty easy stuff next step is going to be we'll go ahead and bolt the passenger side seat in its place so i gotta notch out here and here for the seat bolts there's the rear bolt or his rear bolt but once that's bolted down we'll go ahead and trim the carpet to clear this kick panel here that way it tucks up just underneath the kick panel it's gonna have any gaps but letting this carpet sit for a couple more days really help get some more of the curl and get the thing to lay out pretty nice so i guess the thing about this carpet open it as soon as you get let it sit for a few days laying flat definitely helps during the installation now we can get it all trimmed up here for the uh, door threshold that little trim plate that goes on there so i said next up let's get the seat installed all right does your seat belt still have these little plastic things on the bottom and you're trying to figure out how the heck you get it apart well, this car surprisingly the passenger seat belt was all intact but by the time you tuck it through and get the bolt lined up well how the heck do you get the bolt through well here's how i do it it seems to work pretty good um, but pull the belt through too far still line up the orientation the same then you can flip this thing over and put your bolt through now you can see that it's exposed get the bolt tightened down once you get it tightened down you just pull the belt back through and it should be good to go so just in case you couldn't figure that out or had some troubles now well, this seems to work pretty good for me so i wanted to share that tip with you There you have it. trim all the carpet here up here by the kick panel i'll zoom in a little closer when i get up there but the idea at this point we're going to trim the carpet back just before there's a body line rib here i'm going to trim it back just on this side of it here because that trim panel is covered up but i want to make sure i don't expose any of the metal here on the inside so i'm going to do a kind of a rough cut here and get this thing cleaned up and then get that piece of trim put in So far, like I said, this is the rib that trim actually comes. You see the red and the autumn bronze paint this car originally was. You know, that trim comes clear out to here, so it's only about so wide. I'm gonna trim it where it still covers it up, but then these are the screws that attach. It's a whole lot easier, those are exposed. This is actually laying out pretty good. So, the next thing is I gotta get it cut, go around the kick panel here. It actually goes up underneath the kick panel. If you ever try to take these out, especially at the driver's side, lost cause. Uh, so, your best bet is just to trim the carpet just to the point where you know inch or so underneath as you can kind of tuck it up underneath there that seems to work pretty good for me and this still holds it in place without having to take this panel out so. now if i were to fold this down and i cut right in that line it'd be right to the edge so if i know i come back about an inch should be pretty good sorts Do the same kind of idea on the i guess the tow board here fold that backwards come over here i was going to try off about three quarters of an inch and it should get me there
carpet's all put in now. Next step, reinstall the old threshold molding back in the car. That's just four simple screws holds that thing in there. So that should go pretty quick. Well, maybe. There we go. All right, put those in. Yes, yeah, so there you have it. Interior's all back in Project LeBron. It's got the seats in, seat belt, center console. Still need a driver's side seat belt. So if anybody has one of those, like part ways with the uh, plastic GM style buckle, I think 68 or 69 Camaro or Firebird would work. Just need a driver's front lap belt with a retractor. So if you have one sitting around you don't want or want to make a deal, let me know. Hit me up in the old comments there. Appreciate you, you know, let me know if you've got one because I haven't been able to find anything on eBay or Oh, book face marketplace or anything like that. So need a little help. So if you guys got one out there and would like part ways with it, let me know. But nonetheless, interior's all looking pretty good. Got a little dirt there to clean up, wipe things down, a little arm all and vacuum the new carpet. Got a little dirty climbing in and out of the car, but looking a whole lot better and definitely smelling much more gooder than when we started with. So and the results here. Loving the progress. Car is just about done. Going to do some test driving now, doing some shaking down. But if you've not seen any of the videos on this car, check right here. Got, we replaced the floor pan, buying the car, uh, convertible top diagnosis, repair, water pump. A lot of good info. If anything, maybe a little bit slightly entertaining or maybe how not to do this stuff just the same. But uh, I'm going to put the top up, put this thing in the garage, find something to eat, and uh, we will see you next time.